Can you use Medicare out of the country? And if so, when can you use it? Uh, a new bill, actually, a subscriber sent me some information, a, and we'll go over that. A new bill has been proposed in Congress that will allow you to use Medicare in uh, quite a number of countries, and I'll go over the list of countries. It includes the Philippines, as a matter of fact. So if it passes, uh, that's good news for us uh, uh, traveling and living overseas. Medicare, of course, is a uh, medical plan that uh, many of us uh, pensioners are very interested in. It uh, many parts to it, part A, part B, part C, part D. It's got uh, Medicare Advantage. It's got uh, Medicare Gap policies, and it has changed over time, continues to change. And uh, we're going to get into a little bit of the details here, but uh, primarily we're going to talk about uh, can you use it overseas, and when can you use it overseas, and what are the new changes that may be happening? A subscriber sent me this information a while back. James lives over in Bacolod. I really appreciate uh, that. A number of years ago, I did a, a video of something similar to this. Uh, there have been a couple attempts over the years to expand Medicare and make it uh, useful as a, as a medical insurance for Americans traveling Americans from the USA traveling out of the country, so you can use it. You don't have to go back uh, to the States to get medical insurance. And anyway, this is a new attempt. American Citizens Abroad is the site that uh, he sent me, and it says legislation was introduced into Congress by Congressman Adriano Espanili. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, on August 29th calling for the creation of a portable Medicare uh, test program uh, called Earned Benefits Equality and Family Reunification Act. I suggest uh, U.S. citizens write to your congressman and uh, help promote this through Congress. Anyway, the legislation calls on Congress to implement a 10-year demonstration program to allow el eligible beneficiaries to apply Medicare benefits uh, to coverage of items and services, premiums, and other cost sharing under the health insurance system of other countries. The legislation calls for at least 11 uh, distinct nations or political subdivisions be selected, which shall include Canada, Federal Republic of Germany, Republic of India, State of Israel, Republic of Korea, the Republic of the Philippines, Republic of Panama, uh, the United Mexican States, Dominican Republic, and at least one nation or political subdivision thereof in Africa. There actually are some cases where you can use uh, Medicare health benefits when you're traveling outside of the USA, and I'll get into some of the details here in just a little bit. Uh, but first, I will uh, I'll tell you I will put a link to the uh, article uh, from the email that I got from James. I'll put it in the description of the uh, this video, and so you can link to this uh, this particular bill if you want to read through it. And uh, anyway, this is uh, from Congress.gov and the Earned Benefits Equality Family Re Re Reunification Act. There is a lot of legalese in, in this bill, and uh, you can go to that link and uh, read through it, the whole thing if you wish, and I suggest that you do, actually. And uh, now let's jump over to Medicare itself and go through the when can you use it overseas and when can't you, what does it cover, uh, many of you will be interested in this. Medicare coverage outside of the United States. Uh, Medicare coverage outside the United States is limited. In most situations, Medicare won't pay for health care or supplies you get outside the U.S. The term outside the U.S. means anywhere other than the 50 states of the U.S., uh, the District of Columbia, Puerto Rico, the U.S. Virgin Islands, Guam, America, Samoa, and the Northern Mariana Islands. There are some exceptions that would allow you to get coverage outside the U.S. under Medicare Part A, which is the hospital insurance, 
and or Part B, the medical insurance, kind of the outpatient side of that. When does Medicare cover health care services in a foreign hospital? There are three situations when Medicare uh, may pay for certain types of health care services you get in a foreign hospital, a hospital outside the U.S. You're in the U.S., number one, you're in the U.S. when you have a medical emergency and the foreign hospital is closer than the nearest U.S. hospital that can treat you. For instance, you're across the border in Canada, or you're in northern U.S., and you're closer to a Canadian hospital uh, than you are a U.S. hospital. Number two, you're traveling uh, through Canada with, without unreasonable del delay by the most direct route between Alaska and another state when a medical emergency occurs, and the Canadian hospital is closer than the nearest U.S. hospital and can treat you. Medicare determines on a case-by-case -case basis what qualifies as without unreasonable delay. Number three, you live in the U.S. and a foreign hospital is closer to your home than the nearest U.S. hospital that can treat you regardless of whether you have a medical emergency. So those are the three conditions under which you can get uh, treatment paid for under Medicare outside of the USA. Many of you know about my recent fall event uh, in the Philippines, uh, and unfortunately, uh, the Medicare does not cover my expenses. I did a previous video about uh, my hospital expenses. I was in the hospital five days, uh, shattered my my shoulder basically, and they uh, used titanium plates and screws and stuff to put me all back together again. And I am still recuperating. Going to have to keep my my arm kind of uh, immobile for a couple of months and then start rehab, I guess. So I'm kind of working one-handed, basically. And uh, uh, just to give you an idea, it cost me, I think, uh, 3330 U.S. dollars in the, in the end. And some of that was cash. Uh, had to put a down payment on to get treated, basically. And uh, the, the company that provided the titanium and the the, uh, the 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 operating tent, I guess, the very clean operating tent over us uh, that cost me fifty thousand cash. They would not take a credit card. So anyway, getting back to this, uh, what kind of health care services does Medicare help pay for in these three situations? Medicare cover covers these services. Part A, which is the hospitalization, inpatient hospitalization care, care you get when you've been formally admitted with a doctor's order to a foreign hospital as an inpatient. Uh, for more information, visit uh, medicare.gov, um, that link there. Part B covers emergency ambulance and doctor services you get immediately before and during your covered foreign inpatient hospital stay. However, however, if Medicare doesn't cover your hospital stay and or you get ambulance and doctor service outside the hospital after your covered uh, hospital stay ends, Medicare generally won't pay for these services. For example, Medicare won't cover return ambulance trips home or doctor services you get in a foreign country after your covered foreign hospital stay ends. Remember, Medicare only pays for, uh, for its share of Medicare-covered services. If you only have Part A, Medicare only covers inpatient hospital care. And uh, I think you're required to have Medicare Part A. You've, you've paid in uh, much of your working life. You do have the option of dropping Part B, and you have the option of signing up. There's just a certain time of the year when you can sign up for the the other things, uh, Medicare C and D and E and uh, Medicare Advantage and other types of plans, uh, Medicare Gap, I guess. Uh, it all becomes a little bit confusing in the end, but uh, there, are, there are companies like Humana and other companies that offer, they offer all the services of Medicare and maybe a little bit more. I've got a couple of friends who have, like Humana, uh, 
Medicare Advantage and they get uh, some free vitamins and that type of thing as well, which isn't covered under regular Medicare. Now, there, there can be other shortfalls included. You really need to understand and do your research regarding those other types of plans. This information, by the way, is right off the uh, Medicare.gov site, so I uh, presume it is up to date. What if I have a Medicare Supplement Insurance Medigap policy? Your Medigap policy may cover services that original Medicare doesn't cover, like emergency, emergency medical care that you get outside the U.S. I think my friend has some, and, and he, he can get some emergency medica, medical care uh, covered when he's traveling. Now, he's, uh, he doesn't stay in the Philippines. He might stay uh, two or three or four months type thing, then he's back in the USA. If you're living permanently in, a, in another country, not sure uh, whether that would cover it or not. You, you need to talk to your, uh, your plan people if you have one of those plans and find out what it covers before you travel. Most Medigap plans, lettered plans, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, M, and N, provide uh, foreign travel emergency health coverage with a lifetime limit of 50000 U.S. dollars. Even if you have plan E, H, I, or J that are no longer sold, you may keep it if you bought one of these plans before June First, 2010. They still cover foreign travel emergency care. These uh, Medicare pl Medigap plans pay 80% of the bill charges for certain medically necessary emergency care outside the USA after you met the $250 deductible for the year. They cover foreign travel emergency care if it begins during the first 60 days of your trip, and if Medicare doesn't otherwise cover the care. Interesting, got 60 days. Before you travel outside the U.S., talk with your Medigap company or insurance agent to get more information. Makes sense. Now remember, there are only certain times of the year when you can change your plan. Uh, it's called open enrollment. And uh, just be aware and research. Uh, I'm not sure if everybody has the same uh, dates or if, if they are offered. Uh, I, I should have researched that before this video, but sorry. Um, I'm not sure. I think it's just you have, you've got two or three months out of the year that are set, and you need to change your plan during those time periods. Um, back up here to the article, what if I get my health care from a Medicare health plan instead of original Medicare. Medicare Advantage plans and other Medicare health plans must follow rules set by Medicare, including uh, for the three situation described on page one. However, your plan may offer additional coverage for health care services you get outside the U.S. Check with your plan. And that's what I said. My, my friend was telling me he was seemed to be pretty happy with uh, the extra coverage he got, got. But at the same time, I've watched videos on YouTube about uh, these Medicare Advantage plans. And um, it, it's best to understand what you're buying and what you may not be getting uh, if there are limitations. Uh, next, can I buy travel insurance to help pay the cost for health care services? Of course you can, yes, because Medicare has limited coverage of health care services outside the U.S. You can uh, choose to buy travel insurance pol policy to get more coverage. An insurance agent or travel agent can give you more information about buying travel insurance. Travel insurance doesn't necessarily include health coverage. So it's important to understand, read the conditions and restrictions. It might just cover cover a refund of, of your flight or uh, some other travel expenses instead of health coverages. So be sure you understand what you're buying. These Medicare Advantage plans are sold by a number of different companies. And uh, frankly, I'm not that familiar with them except what uh, various expats, friends, have told me about their coverage. And uh, it's... I know the one he gets, he gets different pills and stuff when he goes back to the U.S. and uh, checkups and uh, 
immunizations and I don't know what else is included in his plan. But like I said, I've, uh, I, I, I declined to go that route uh, because of some of the videos I've watched on, on YouTube cautioning about uh, some of the restrictions and, and uh, being covered for certain certain types of operations, I guess. Uh, and uh, I can't get into the details because I'm not an expert on that, but I, I would just say do your research, your due diligence, uh, if you're interested in going in that direction. There have been a number of attempts uh, over the years, at least a, a couple, I think, that uh, where they have tried to do this, extend uh, Medicare coverage for uh, Americans from the U.S. Uh, traveling outside the country. It would save the government money instead of you having to go back and, and uh, get into an American hospital. You can oftentimes get things done much cheaper traveling in other countries, so it would save uh, the U.S. government money and would save you money. So take the time, rate your congressman, uh, try to put some pressure on them uh, to pass it this time. And uh, that would be good for everybody, I think. Anyway, thanks for watching. Safe travels to you all, and I'll see you next time.